the most frequently asked questions that I get from students all over the world is how do I play good sounding claw hammer banjo with a short nail? For lots of reasons, people are unable to keep and maintain a nice long nail, whether it's from their profession or just their physiology. Sometimes you just can't have a long nail and it makes playing claw hammer difficult. And because of what I do, I get to maintain a good long nail, but as I've found over the last year or so, I've been playing so much that I wear down my nail pretty consistently. And just like everybody else, I break my nail frequently and it, my tone and my accuracy suffers because of it. Well, today I think I found a product that has solved this problem for me after looking for a really long time. And that is the Kling Pro Frailing Pick from Kling Pro Picks. The information will appear down below in the description. So first of all, let me get this out of the way. I am not associated with the company in any way. I found the product and I really, really liked it. And so this is my review of it. It's an honest look at what this pick does and is. And so I wanted to share that with you guys because I think it could solve a problem for a lot of you out there. All right, let's get into the review. So let's talk about what the pick is made of. It's made of celluloid. Attached to the celluloid is this braided wire loop and it's all dipped in rubber. And then there's this little pad on the backside that presses into the pad of your finger. The pick comes in both blue and white. These picks are priced at $10 Canadian and I think that's a fair price. So the Kling Pro Frailing Pick fits on the end of your striking finger like this. And it's really an ingenious system. I've tried lots of other picks in the past and they all seem to be loose and floppy or really, really tight. And this fits just right for me. It's comfortable for me to wear for long periods. Now there are different sizes of this pick, so you can get a size that will fit your fingers. My hands are large, I wear XXL gloves, but my fingers are medium size, so the medium fits me just fine. But you'll want to contact Kling Pro and talk to them about what size fits you best. Oh, and one thing I noticed right out of the bag, the Kling Pro pick tends to be a little bit pointier. So what I did is I filed down the top so that it makes the top of the Kling Pro pick a little bit flatter, which is closer to the profile of my real nail. I did notice a little bit of a tone. It's better. The tone was better once I did that filing. So when you get these picks, you may want to experiment with just filing them down so they more resemble your natural nail shape. So for this video, I wanted to give you guys a demo of how the Kling Pro pick sounds on the instrument. So I cut my nail really, really short, way shorter than I'm used to. And so I play a song with the nail short and then I play the song with my Kling Pro pick. And you guys should really be able to hear the difference. The Kling Pro pick I think is much louder. I'm more accurate with it. And it sounds pretty close to a real fingernail. So if you're struggling with nail issues, I can recommend the Kling Pro Frailing Pick wholeheartedly. I will always have a couple in my case. It's a cheap insurance policy against nail breakage. It helps me maintain and prevent wear on my nail. And for those of you who struggle to grow a nice long nail, this could be a good solution for you. 
One little thing that I did notice with the pick is that over the course of using the pick for many hours, the rubber starts to peel away just a little bit, and this has happened on several of the picks. I don't see any real problem with this, but it's just something uh, that I thought I'd mention in the video. All right, guys, I hope you found this review interesting and useful. Give Gus a shout at Kling Pro Picks. Give him a try. I really think this is a cool product and one that really has its place in the claw hammer world. And I will see you this week on Banjo Quest.